All right, we're back to normal. Yay! Did they say anything about these supplies? Nutrition. Hard to use, but better than nothing. Yeah, we do not want to use the kitchen knife. Mm -mm. Not until we run out of ammo. Flashlight. Can I turn this? I think you have to equip that. One touch on off switch in the chest pocket. Oh, you have to press B for it. B? Yeah, I mean circle, sorry. Or at least that's what I saw on the controls. Try holding it. No. Well, maybe it has to be dark. Maybe. Keep going. There's a dark spot that keeps going. I will. I just was trying to see if there was a way to, you know, do it automatically. But we'll see, I guess. <clears throat> also, the town changes over time, so that dark spot might not be dark forever. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Um, I don't know. It's just how it works. The town is an interesting place. Ooh, the town's alive! Actually, yes. That's scary. It is. It is alive. Is that wheelchair of. still there? We gotta check the wheelchair. We need that. No, that guy came back for it. What if we break our leg? That guy came and <gasps> took it. It's gone! You yeah, see? Terrible. He took it back. Or there's a monster that has uh, difficulty walking who took it. That makes sense. In which case, this game is inclusive. Hey, we didn't find handgun bullets over here before. Exactly. And that's why things like the other world and the fog world and stuff, they uh, affect some of this and what we will find as we go through. To school. Isn't this Cheryl's sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Well, how do you know that for sure? She could have left. <clears throat> I think it's weird he, like, showed up to this town and his daughter was all of a sudden missing and he was trying to find her. Yeah, his daughter was in the, um, with this picture, it's me. How would he know that? That's that, the worst picture I've ever like seen. a picture of boobs. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. Okay, oh, that's okay. why. Okay. I thought maybe I could pick up this, um... That long thing? Yeah, the steel yeah, nice. pipe. Ew, that's really rusty. That's okay. We'll just have to get a tetanus shot. Why do I not want to take my daughter's sketchbook with me? I'm just like, well, ah, I'll just leave that here. I got it for her on her fifth birthday, but I don't really care anymore. Uh, we can buy her a new one at Walmart. Right? I guess. So we can't go this way. No, that's so a dead end. We're going to have to go back this way. So Silent Hill 1, a lot of it is fog world stuff, but you'll see over the course of the game, there's different forms of this town. There's normal Silent Hill where everyone's just walking around having a swell little time. Mm -hmm. That's just human world Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. Then there is uh, the fog world. Mm -hmm. And then there's the other world, which looks all like rusty. I think that's the name of it. And mm -hmm. dilapidated. And it has even more monsters in it. But monsters can appear in the fog world, too. But monsters don't really appear in the normal human world? Uh, not that I remember, no. Also, usually these creatures out and about, I, um, I avoid them. So a lot of times, um, we're going to be, like, switching between the fog world and the other world, but, like, not on purpose. It's just kind of how the game's gonna go. Yeah, but you know what's interesting? I don't remember if the other world is in this one much or if it's introduced more in, uh in 2 oh. and 3 because Silent Hill is different for the different people who go to it. Do they explain why like sometimes some people get stuck in different dimensions? Uh, a lot of it's very open to interpretation. Oh, okay. And there's a lot of lore videos and stuff you can watch on Silent Hill that I would definitely be willing to watch with you. The problem with a lot of them is you kind of have to play some of the games first, mm -hmm. because otherwise you're going to get spoilers. Like, when James went to Silent Hill, this happens! And it's like, okay, well, that's the entire second game. Mm -hmm. So you don't really want to go look that up, mm -hmm. because then you'll just know everything that's going to happen. Yeah. And that's kind of the, um, not the problem with the series, but one of the things that's interesting about it is you spend a lot of time not understanding a lot of what's going on. Oh, so it's like you're going to spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. Yes. Doghouse, 11 Street. I guess I should go over there sometime. But this... right now I need to find Cheryl and then get her a dog after. I'm not going to remember if I don't go there. I saw the doghouse when we ran by. Oh. The problem was I didn't want to deal with it because there were actual dogs at it. Oh. 
but it should be right over here. Um, it's in a yard. Oh, a yard. Goodbye, dog. Rawr. Good night, dog. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's it. It's bloody. The house key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it. Heck yeah. This is very Resident Evil-y. I really like it. It is very Resident Evil-y. I'm really hoping that uh, some of those fan remakes, at minimum, are made. Like, I know uh, Codeless Games was working on one. I know that... Um, I know that there was another group working on a Silent Hill 1 remake. I would actually be interested in playing the fan remakes on this channel. That would be fun. If they're made, because they looked like they aged a lot better than this game. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to insult this game, because it is a masterpiece of horror. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not hold up as well as 2 and 3 do, though. Mm -hmm. Because 2 and 3 are PS2 games, and... This is a PS1 game, right? Yeah, and there are PC ports of those, and... Unlike Final Fantasy VII... Um, I think you need to go up Levin Street and then go down Midwich Street. Yes, but I was trying to get to that house. There was oh. a house key I thought I could cut through. Oh, okay. But honestly, I don't really remember. So part of this is going to be me wandering around trying to figure it out, too. Well, I wasn't sure because I, I, we kept going to that dead end, you know. I know, but I thought that with that dead end there was a house because otherwise why would I find the note that said go to the doghouse on Levin Street? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We, well, you could try the house that's right next to the doghouse and see if the, how, the key works on that. That's true. This is a dead end, too. And one thing that's cool about it is uh, Harry will mark the map as we find stuff. So he added that X That's very there. kind of him. So, like, that wasn't originally here. We find that as we go. Thank you, Harold. Very, very cool. cool. Try that house. Do you think Trump would be friends with Harry? No. Oh. Oh, no, he shame. wasn't too. He wasn't gung ho enough about having a gun. That's true. He was like, oh, I don't know about this. You should just try every house along the way. Yeah, so I would do that. But here's the thing: I'm not just walking around by myself. There's like dogs running around and stuff too. Yeah, but like, are you gonna be a man or are you gonna be a mouse? A mouse. Mm. Harry is not a confident guy. So that's one thing that's cool about this too is you know how he runs like he has. Look, I'm not making fun of people with back problems, but you know how he runs almost like he has scoliosis or something? Yeah. Well, the reason for that is because they intentionally made him not a, um... He, he's not a, like, a war veteran or something. He's just a guy. So he runs timidly. You yeah. know what I mean? The, he's he's scared. like a, a scared guy who's never had to deal with stuff like this before. Right. It's kind of like in The Last of Us where they make it so that you can, um... So you're not, like, perfect. It is the one by the doghouse. So you're not perfect at aiming. There's weapon sway and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because you are just a person. Mm -hmm. You're not, like, a, a veteran of war or anything like that or a soldier. Mm -hmm. One thing they do really well in this game, by the way, that is probably lost a little bit because we talk. Mm -hmm. um, other than just the map, because I think... Yeah, it shows me where I am. Um, one thing that's done really well in this, though, is the silence. Like, if you listen... We'll be quiet for a minute. There's just nothing going on. That's pretty scary. And it makes it really eerie and stuff, too. It's Hi, spooky. kitty! Uh, there was a save right next to there. Yeah, we're gonna grab some stuff. Nice. Yeah, let's go around, grab some stuff, and then we'll do a save, and then we'll take a look-see around, and that was nothing special, I guess, and... There, somebody left their teacups on the table and they didn't clean up after themselves or do the dishes, so I think it's safe to assume the people who live here are lazy in Japanese culture that is frowned upon. You know what's funny? Literally, you go into our room and you don't pick up the clothes on the floor. Don't be mean to me. So they would say the same thing about you. Wait, this is called Doghouse. Even though the doghouse is outside. Well, that's probably the easiest way for him to remember it. It's just, I just wanted to give you that lore. Okay, I think it's just him writing it down being like, Ah, oh, yes, this is the place that has the doghouse. But I just wanted you to have the lore. Are you happy? With no, your lore is stupid. You should kill yourself. Okay, Jill, you know, you can't even joke about that. If I were to do that now, you would go to jail. Even though I'm your wife? Yeah. Oh, that you sucks. Know that? Well, don't kill yourself. Something is written on the map. Hanging on the wall. Keys for Eclipse. Madison Street. What is that section? So this section of the map 
Queen Burger? Is that like Burger King? <laughs> That's actually really funny. You just scared the hell out of Kitty by laughing like that. I want to go to Queen Burger. Copied it to the map. Maybe they'll give us fast food. So if I look at my map now... Do you think Harry eats burgers for a living? I don't. Oh, he should. Here's what I don't understand. So it said I copied it to my map, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this. This looks like a... Oh, no, that is Levin Street. Mm -hmm. Keys for Eclipse. Okay, now press on your map. Yeah, but I don't see the whole Keys for Eclipse thing, do Well, you? he probably didn't write that down, but look, he did the line next to the cafe, and he did the arrow next to the convenience store, and he did the circle on Eloy Street. I think that circle was already there. No, it wasn't. It That was the circle he saw on the map on the wall. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to defer to you. There oh. are three locks. I can only count to three, so this helps. Don't I have a key? Maybe I have to do this. It really is uh, old... Survival horror. Hey, you used your house key, remember? Oh, yeah. I did, didn't I? What are you, dumb? You're right. About me being dumb, not about the house key. That makes sense. You should grab that thing on the table and save. I think I already saved, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you probably did. That's why we started talking about the dog house. Yeah, we did. Silly me. Is this all that's in this house? Where do these people sleep? Uh, probably upstairs, but for some reason we don't check upstairs. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Small house. Hey, kitty. Not even a bathroom. No. Do you want kitty? Yeah. Kitty, come here. Hi, you're such a good girl. Come here. Why do you stop a foot away? Meow. Meow, meow. <clears throat> Does this game scare you at all or no? No. No? Oh, no. Not even in the slightest? No. Not oh. really, no. Is it supposed to? Yeah, it's a horror game. Oh. I was not scared at all. Is it just too old? No, I don't know. Maybe it'd scare me more if I was playing. I don't really get scared at horror games unless I'm the one with the controller, really. Oh, but do you like it still? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't want you to be bored. No, I'm not bored. Okay, I'm gonna just book it. You know, I used to have a... Oh, jeez. There used to be a program at my school called Book It. Did you ever have any, like, programs at your school where they encouraged you to read and you got prizes or something for doing it? Yeah, um, they... Had the people from the local library come and, like, give us a sheet and stickers. And with every book we read, we put a sticker on the sheet. And then, like, you know, if you read, like, five books, you get a pencil. If you read ten books, you get, like, a stupid pin or something. It's not stupid. It was fun as a kid. Well. You didn't I, think it was fun? I suppose I'm petty because, like, for my program, you had to actually go to the library and show them that you did it during the summer, so that way they'd give you your prize, and my parents never wanted to bring me. Why would your parents not bring you to a fucking library? What do you mean? They were my parents. Wait, why do you even have to ask? I wish I could, like... Alright. I'm gonna have to cut ahead. If I, if I say something too much here. But I'm just saying, you know the scene where, like, the Terminator comes out of the time rift... And I then, never watched Terminator. Okay, well, yeah, but you know that he's a time traveler. No, I don't. You don't? I didn't know that, no. Okay, well, it's not a spoiler. It's in the first two minutes of the film. Well, thank you. It, literally the first two minutes. Well, now I know that, right? Anyway, I was just saying that some somebody should send the Terminator back for your par parents. That makes sense, right, kitty? That's all I was going to say. I think what that's a the, good idea, Mel. What does it say? Bill Skins Gif? Bill Skins Fifth. Huh. Hmm, I sure hope nothing, uh, attacks me from behind while I stand here. That's a Silence of the Lambs Easter egg. Oh, really? I didn't remember that. That's but cool. Yes. That's, I guess that's not a, uh, reference to the actual lore, though. Somebody's toenails are getting long. Sorry. I'll, I'll cut mine soon. I was talking about Kitty. Oh, sorry. My other girlfriend has a foot thing. So, like, I usually like to keep my toenails nice and... Long? Nice and uh, girthy. Oh. And okay. Long. What's that? The Poston Market? I don't know what it is. I'm not even stopping. Poston? I heard a I heard a monster. When we're indoors we have to deal with monsters, but outdoors dealing with monsters just leads to loss of health and no bullets later on. Mm-hmm. So it's just usually not worth it. It's better to save your bullets until you're like in an enclosed area where you can't run away. Yep. Because who knows how many they're going to give us. 
I was, well, I've gotten quite a few so far. Yeah, but those can run out very quickly. Yeah, I was very worried that I froze the game. Yeah, well, it is an old game. Um, and I have to keep checking the map because I have no sense of direction, so I apologize for that. So, as the game goes on, are there going to be more monsters than the just the dogs and the weird bat things? Yes. Okay. The bat things look like those dogs, but with wings. Did you notice that? Uh, they are similar. You have to remember, they're doing their best. Um... Well, I was just wondering if that was, like, an evolved version of them, or if they, like, if they were supposed to look this similar, So or... that's something you have to throw out immediately. There are no evolved versions of monsters, and what I mean by that is not that there aren't any similar ones, but there isn't a connection between, like, there are connections between monsters, but, um, they're not, like, creatures in terms of, like, biological creatures, like Resident Evil, where you could draw connections between, like, this developed from this. Mm -hmm. It's not a thing, because a lot of the monsters in Silent Hill are, um, based off of the psyche of specific people in Silent Hill. Oh, okay. In this one, they're not based off of Harry. Mm -hmm. However, they are based off of another character. And then in Silent Hill 2, they're directly based off of James. In 3, they're based off of Heather... Uh, but, um, like, Harry sees the same monsters as, say, that police officer would? In this, yes, but not always. Sometimes the monsters are tailored to, to different people. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense, right, kitty? My little baby. She's so cute. She's sitting like a little human right now. That's an interesting... Oh, that's a police car. Key of Lion. Are we gonna go see, uh, g Idol and their single lion? Sadly, no. Oh. I am very scared about this guy here, but I really don't want to have to deal with him. So that's blocked off. So we now have the key of the lion. Why don't we go down to Eloy Street where that... Oh, wait, no, he already put an X there, because we just already... We already went down Eloy Street, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, these are all blocked off. The stuff we find is going to have to be within this little square of the map. Do you want to try going down that alley that has the red line next to the cafe? Uh, it's right down the convenience store. I can look. I want to for sure try the convenience store and see if it's open. Okay. Because I don't remember where the keys are, but... I wonder if the cashier is still running it. <sighs> Maybe we can buy some shemps. I do wish Ash was here. Me too. He'd be a lot better at running. Did I go by the convenience store? What's with Kitty trying to, like, shove into me? I don't know. I think she just doesn't want to sit with me anymore. What's wrong with you? I don't blame her. I don't either. Why don't you want to sit with me? We'd rather sit with someone else. I'm sorry. Why are you being a grumpus? Is there another option here? Can we get another option to no, sit with? No, we can't have options. We're, we got our ballerina toes out. We're extending beautifully. She is really funny. She's the funniest kitty in the whole wide world. Yeah, so, so funny. You can't get in there unless I can go around the building. You were telling me that you played uh, a game that I think you said you wanted to let's play eventually. Um, didn't you say it was a little bit like this, where you had like a timid protagonist who wasn't good at fighting? I mean, I guess Harry at least fights, but you said that Maid of Scare game is basically yeah. about a guy who doesn't fight. It's an indie game, I'm pretty sure. Um... And it is called Made of Scare, and it, a lot of the plot of the game is you being a very small, thin, mousy kind of guy. Um, you know, like, you, you're you just not really, like, a stereotypical man. You're more of, like, a skinny kind of guy. And I think it's, like, in the late 1800s kind of setting. Um, and you end up going to this hotel... Because your girlfriend called you. Was and, your girlfriend hot? Um, uh, kinda, yeah. It's just, that's hard to explain, because that goes into a lot of the game. Um, but you go there, and you pretty much uncover this dark, disturbing mystery that mm -hmm. happened there. Um, and it's a horror game, obviously, and you can't fight the monsters. It's more of, like running away from them sort of thing, a lot like this. Um, you don't even get weapons in the game. And one of the interesting things is, I'm pretty sure 
that the creatures are all blind, or at least majority of them are, but they can hear you, um, like, really well, like, they have insane hearing. So a lot of times what you have to do when you're near monsters is you have to hold your breath. And so you have your character hold his breath, and you have a breath gauge, and then you have to, like, walk past the monsters really slowly sort of thing. And it's very interesting. Um, and there's a lot of, like, really hard, stealthy parts, and I thought the game was very fun. Well, and... but holding your breath is a whole mechanic? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So you press a button to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Um, and it has a VR capabilities, so, like, if you made a lot of noise in VR, the monsters would probably come out you, I think, mm. because I tried to playing it in VR, but, um, it was just easier to take the headset off and play it normally. Mm. Um... But yeah, it's, it's a very fun and interesting game. There's a lot of, like, it, it kind of seems very inspired by this, Resident Evil and Outlast, mm -hmm. um, because it's got some, like, weird culty stuff that ends up happening, um, and you uncover, like, this really big mystery, and you find out, like, some people that you thought you were going to trust sometimes aren't trusting, and some people that you didn't think were going to be trusting you end up being able to trust sort of thing, because, like... Not everybody you encounter in this is a monster. Um, you encounter a couple of real people, too. So, I don't know, I thought it was very cool. You do, I'm pretty sure you do pick up items and stuff, and you have, like, goals that you have to do, and you have to go to certain Oops. places. And you, it takes place in a huge hotel, like, multi-floor hotel, and there's a courtyard that's huge and stuff like that, and you end up exploring all of the grounds. Um, and there is... Like, I played this, like, a couple of years ago, so it's hard for me to remember, but there's a certain mechanic in the game that has to do with music, um, which I found interesting. Like, a lot of times you'll hear singing, and you'll know if I think you're getting to, um, like, a safer place, and it's very interesting. Hmm. Um, and I think you have to, like, save at gramophones, and you'll get to hear, like, audio logs of the different people who used to live at the hotel and run the hotel before the place kind of went to crap and, like, uh, you know, people started going, I guess, feral is, is a good way to put it. Like, the closest I can call these creatures that you encounter would be kind of like feral ghouls from Fallout. Ah, interesting. But, but they're blind. Ah. It is very cool. It's, uh, one of the best horror games I've ever played, and... I think it's really fun. It's something that I'd like to play together at some point. I think you'd really enjoy it. And I think the story in it is really, really fun and really good. Um, and the one thing that's actually really interesting is there's two endings to the game, depending on your choice. One of them's a bad ending, one of them's a good ending. And I played both the endings to see what would happen, because you can save right beforehand and then play both the endings if you want. Mm -hmm. So that's fun, and I think we could do that on the Let's Play, because, like, it's really easy to just... It's, it's just a one decision thing at the very end where you do one thing or you don't do one thing. And as long as you have all of the pieces to do that said thing, then you'll be able to do either ending you want. I blew through almost a fourth of our ammo there, and that's why I don't really want to use it much outdoors. I just kind of wanted to show you what it's like if you get in a fight outside. Mm -hmm. uh, it's ridiculous i'm fine yeah. with ammo i still have 75 shots so i'm okay but it's yeah it gets ridiculous and it gets like too hard to manage because enemies can kind of just fly around and swarm you and that's why it's best to just kind of run and in a lot Wait, of so the... where is our car on the map sorry i wanted to see you uh okay i want to see the map that's fine i wanted to go back towards the car so you knew where we were oh that makes sense way up oh, there oh okay so that's where we came into the town that makes sense. I was just wondering, sorry. No, I know, I'm just helping you out, if that's even what you call it. Mm. Did you go down that alley near the convenience store? I'm going to, but I was going to look at, is there a reason not to go down that one where it says Cheryl by Finney Street? That's the one we already went down. That's the one where the nudists were. Remember where we saw her sketchbook? Okay. So we want to go down the alley where the convenience store red line is. Looks like there's no, uh... We could take the ketchup. We could. Mmm, ketchup. Well, right now we're, we're in a bit of a weird place, because unless I find the key to the garden of the house found in patrol car's trunk. The garden of the house. Yeah, it's the doghouse area. Well, let's just go back and check. 
Should, well, like, should I go use the one key? I don't know. I don't know if you can. We can try it. Maybe something will happen. It's a good idea. Because at least if I... Oh, hey. Ammo. At least hey. if I use this one key, I know that it for sure is for that house. Well, it did say it was for that house. It just said for the house. What if it meant a different house? I don't know. I don't think that there are any other houses that we're able to There's unlock. There's only one house in the whole game. Well, no, I'm sure that there's multiple houses in the game, but at the moment, I don't think that there is a house that we can unlock other than that one, you know? I don't know, because I don't remember the game. And you, you should remember. And you've hey, why never... Why didn't you try that door? Go back, go back, go Because back. there's nothing there. It's not a door. That's a door. Look at that. That's a door. You gotta try these things. You need to know if they open or not. Okay, we got it. We got it. Do try my best. Okay, let's just let's just go in circles. Let's oh up. Oh, let's go up there. So, do you know if more of these doors in the town are eventually going to open up? I do know the first game is the most limited with that. Okay. Because it's the first game. But other games that take place in in the same city will have more places to go. Yeah, however, there's always a lot of locked doors in Silent Hill. That makes sense. Uh, but, um... That you just never go into? Yeah. But okay. it's... Yes, like, the later games have a lot more freedom. That makes sense. With where you go. I mean, the thing with the first game is, again, this was a team of people that were expected to fail, that they didn't really... I don't want to say they didn't want to succeed, but in a way they didn't. Um, and... These people kind of came in and blew it out of the water and did a really good job and surprised Konami and then ended up spawning a franchise that was never expected to spawn out of it. Uh -huh. And so what I'm saying with that, long story short, is they did the best they could. Like, they worked overnights to make this oh. game happen. Are you able to interact with that blood at all? No, I've tried. I've clicked it every single time we've gone past. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Although I can, like, kind of walk over the corpse. So why did all these people who were considered lazy, like, try really hard on this specific game? Because they weren't actually lazy. They weren't actually pieces of shit or anything that just didn't want a job. They were just... Not passionate about their other projects? Yeah, not passionate about the other projects, to my understanding. They didn't fit in well with certain teams and stuff like that. And they got reorganized into this, and then they ended up doing an extremely good job. And I think that one of the things that ended up happening with that was... You know, that they wanted to succeed and prove the company wrong and show that they could make something really cool and really special. That's good. And they did do that. And so did the same team make the other games? Yes. Although certain people left between games. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I mean, Team Silent, which was the name of the team that made this... Mm -hmm. They went on to make Silent Hill 2, 3, and 4. Cool. After that, Silent Hill goes downhill. Oh. Silent Hill goes downhill. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Is it because there's a different team after that? Yes. 